Ever since I was a little kid, I've been involved in a variety of different games, and I know you can probably tell by looking at me, that's what a lot of people will say, but... Um, and the whole time I've been involved in any of those games, I've had a finger pointed directly at me. And I, if you're a gamer, you probably know what this is like. Uh, to give you an example, if you don't really know, when I was a kid, I played Dungeons & Dragons. And back then, when Dungeons & Dragons was kind of new, uh, people accused it of being occult-related and, and Satan worship, and that it was only a matter of time until Satan got into your soul. I know this sounds so crazy. Satan would get into your soul, and you'd go in a blood loss that would cause you to sacrifice dogs to the devil or kill all your friends. And of course, obviously, that wasn't true, but the media still pressed that image. And it was really frustrating when they did. And of course, we had to defend ourselves, and I'll tell you how we did that in a minute. Um, these days... <clears throat> We have people pointing the finger at us because we play a lot of violent video games. Violent video games make us more violent. Well, there's a lot of statistics and a lot of studies have been done that prove that wrong. But they still say it and we still have to defend ourselves. So today we have a whole other reason to defend ourselves. And right now we are being called crazy, for lack of a better word. We've been called childish and sexist and misogynistic and terrible people and immature and just shitty. And we have to defend ourselves from that. And we're getting called that for pretty good reason here. Um, I have a friend who works for a company, and he wants to remain anonymous because he doesn't want to put himself in the, the limelight. But he said at his company in the last week, he has received, and this is from his message, um, bomb threats by phone, death threats through phone and mail, uh, breaking and inner attempt on their offices, and 12 different denial of service attacks some from multiple sources at the same time piling on top of each other. This is some crazy shit. The good news is, though, that these people are far and few between. And whereas people will want them to represent gamers, they don't represent gamers any easier than the group of people that shot up their school or the Dungeons & Dragons players that sacrificed a bunch of cats and dogs and then shot each other. Accusations like this are always very difficult to deal with, and it is human nature when someone calls you crazy for you to say, you want to see crazy? I'll show you crazy. But it's certainly not the right way to handle this. When they accused me of being a Satan-worshipping occult leader, I proved them wrong by showing them exactly how normal I actually was. And when they told me that I was violent, I proved them wrong by responding with nonviolence. And now that they're accusing me of being crazy, we absolutely have to respond with common sense, level-headedness, and kindness. Right now, gamers are being represented by the handful of crazy, crappy people that I've just described. And that's just the way that they're going to tell the story. And that's why you and I have to lead by example. It's hard to admit that right now there are some gamers who are real assholes, and unfortunately they're representing us. And no matter how much we beg them or tell them not to do it, they're going to continue doing their Twitter attacks and their Facebook attacks. They're going to continue their hacking attempts and their denial of service attempts. They're going to continue their bomb threats and their death threats because that's just what assholes do. But the majority of us are not assholes. Then, of course, there are some of us, and I, I, I'm guilty of this as well, there are some of us who will harmlessly troll and say things we don't really mean. But right now, with the eye of scrutiny upon us, they do think we mean those things. And we need to be very, very careful about the words we choose and the things that we say to prove them wrong. And for the mass majority of you that are good-hearted and have common sense, it's time for you to finally be visible. I know you don't really want to be, I know you just want to play video games, but right now your kindness, your level-headedness, and your common sense is really important. You need to reach across the aisle, you need to treat everybody involved with kindness. As long as you're a gamer, unfortunately that means you represent us, and you have to do it by leading by example, by being super awesome. I know it's a lot to ask, but I need you to do it. Because I will not for a second admit that these people who are pointing the finger at us are right. We are better than those handful of crazy people who are making us look bad. And when they either shape up or ship out, the rest of us who want to have actual conversations about the industry and how to improve it can start. So let's get it done, guys. We are better than this. I truly believe it. And I think you do too.